Okay, guys, I think the first build we're going to do here is the uh, <clears throat> Axis Manta. M A N T A, Manta. Uh, this frame's pretty light, and I, since I can't double the arms up on it, uh, I want to keep this frame really light and go with small, small everything and run a real small battery on it. So I think what I'm going to go with is the uh, one of these Mamba Mini MK3 flight controllers. I'm going to put this little Mamba Mini. 30 amp ESC in it. We're gonna go with these. Uh, these are the Aris 1106 4000 kV motors, and we're gonna run uh, probably two and a half or the three inch props on it. I don't know which yet. I know this is a three and a half inch quad, but uh, the props I'm gonna have is probably gonna be the two and a half to three inch. So that's probably what I'll run on it. It should fly fine. And these little motors should do okay on 4S. So, I, I want to get started on these, both of these. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of MEPS parts coming, brand new MEPS parts I'm going to put in this one, in this co one but uh, I want to double up the bottom arms on it and make them really thick so I can have a, and then I want to, I, then I want to lower the deck down drastically. I, I want this to be a basher. And uh, so I gotta, I gotta wait till I can get me some arms for it. And this one here, uh, I'm probably gonna put the motors Bo sending me on it. Uh, he's got some MEPS motors, and I told MEPS I would review those. <clears throat> and uh, they're them little flat pancake motors too. But I think they're gonna do okay. I don't know. I'll be able to maybe run a little bit bigger props on it maybe the three or three and a half inch props and since they're pancake motors it'll get the props out past the motor a little ways so and I can make this one a little heavier okay guys so I have got the uh, ESC in and wired up it looks pretty sweet I'm using these uh my, my, my wires wasn't long enough because because these motors come off uh, off of a different drone, a lot smaller drone, and so I had to use these things here that I can give me. The I guess there's I, anyway, whatever you call them, I used them. They seem to work pretty good. I actually like that, uh, and that got me the the, the wire length I needed. And uh, I've got my DJI unit, in, I mean my uh, Vista Air unit in mounted up. Holy moly, guys! I thought I screwed up a while ago. I went in there to plug up my. I already had the hot and hot and ground wire hooked up to the air unit, but I had to have my antenna off because I had this crazy thing here on it from the last build, and I couldn't get this. I couldn't get the unit to fit down in there with this on it, so I had to undo the antenna to take it off. And I so I mounted it in there and hooked it up. And then I forgot I didn't have an antenna on it, and I went in there and plugged it up to beta flat a while ago, uh, for a few minutes, doing some settings. And, and, then it, and then it hit me that I didn't have no antenna on it. I turned it off right quick. I checked it. So far, everything seems to still be working. Whew. Luckily. Uh, but I keep it like on 25 milliwatts uh, until I go fly. And then I start changing it, you know. So maybe that's what saved it. I don't know. Or maybe, it, maybe it's okay to run it without one. I don't know. But I, I know it ain't with a regular uh, receiver or VTX so but uh, anyway and I put this little receiver here on it. Uh, it it's only got one antenna because my antenna broke off the other one and I had this in the other drone and I couldn't get it to work so I believe it's the flight controller that is in the, uh, <clears throat> or something's wrong I had it in this drone and I never could get it to work so I don't know, but I got it in this one and it works okay. I don't know how well it's going to do one antenna. I think I've run it that way before, run or not this one, but one just like it. So maybe it'll do all right. <clears throat> I don't want to use my new one yet that I give me. I got a, I got plans for it. So that's where we're at so far, guys. I'll catch you up here in a minute when we get further along. One thing I'm gonna have to do though, guys. There's no way I can afford to buy a bunch more air units or even one more right now. Maybe maybe in a year, year and a half, I'll be able to get another air unit. 
or Vista unit, but right now there's no way. This thing's cost about 150 bucks for the camera and, and the unit. Well, it's about 130, I think, for this one. And but then if you get an extension wire, which I'm going to need to make the camera longer, it's, it's going to be about 150. But I, what I'm what I need is another extension wire, a longer one that I could coil up when I put it in the three-inch drone, and then I could uncoil it <clears throat> when I put it in a five-inch drone because I'm going to have to be moving this thing from drone to drone. And so what I what I need. I've been looking online, and and you can buy these little tiny plugins, kind of like kind of like the plugin on you, on your ESC there. You can buy male and female plugins with the wires already on them. So what I need to do is buy me some four pin, uh, some four pin uh, connectors like that with wires on them, and hook one of them up to my receiver, to where I can just plug my receiver in, and take my receiver out and move it from drone to drone. And also do the Vista unit that way. Four wires is all you need, hot and ground in the RX and TX. So just plug it and unplug it. And that way I can move it from drone to drone because I'm going to be building a lot of these things and I'll be wanting to test them out and fly different drones at different times. So I, <clears throat> I need to make it as easy as possible to swap these things out. Soldering and unsoldering it over and over and over, you'll be able to screw something up. Okay guys, I've about got her done here. Everything seems to work. I hadn't test hovered it yet, but I'm fixing to. I managed to get a beeper in there and everything. I love these little uh, Vista units, <clears throat> these small ones. Man, it's this thing, I weighed it with this top plate on and a 500 milliamp hour 4S LiPo, what I usually fly on the Beetle. It weighs 220 grams. So I'm well under the 250 mark. It weighs 15 grams more than this one, and it's got a full-size HD unit in it. So, I'm tickled to death. Uh, with these little Vista units, man, it's easy to build a, a sub-250 quad, because they're so tiny. And like I say, I was able to get a buzzer, and I left wires really long, like on my Vista. I used a big hot and ground wire, and I left it double the length it needed to be and just wound it up in there and my buzzer I wound a big old length of wire up in there for it and also my receiver I wound a bunch of wire up in there for it that I could have cut off but I want to be able to swap all this from drone to drone so I left the wire real long and hell I'm still way underweight I'm tickled and this is the same motors basically that's on this beetle that's on this now and it only weighs about 15 grams more than the beetle so it should uh, well, I think these motors are 500 or 500 kV less, but these are the older style motors, and I didn't want to push it. I, uh, I had another set in there with a higher kV, but the motor bells were bent, and I didn't know it, and I spun them and seen that they was bent, so I said, nah, I better not use those. But I can't wait to test it tomorrow and see how it's going to fly. It looks pretty sweet, though, guys. Alrighty guys, it's it's done and it all works. Uh, I only had some two and a half inch props to put on it, <clears throat> but uh, that should work just fine because it weighs about almost the same as, or at least I think it does. I don't know because I weighed it again. My scales are acting up and I don't know if it's weighing right or not because now it says it weighs 202 grams with everything on it. So I just find that hard to believe when it weighed more than that while ago without all that stuff on it. So I don't know. I'm going to have to get me some scales. Uh, but I still believe it's it, it feels about the same as this one. Maybe a sm well, it, yeah, with the battery on it, it feels a little heavier. But with the battery off, they feel almost identical. Uh, and I tested it just by holding on to it. And it feels like it's got about the same amount of thrust as this little drone. So it should fly pretty much similar. Uh, and it should be under 250 grams. But I'll know once I get me a good set of scales. Uh, what else? Uh, it turned out pretty sweet. My, my battery straps are way too long. I'm going to have to whack them off or, or get me some shorter ones or something. That'll cut down on the weight a little bit too. And it really needs three and a half inch props, but uh, these are tiny motors I put on here, so that's probably about the right size prop for these motors. As long as it flies good like this, I'll be happy. Uh, let me plug it up and I'll show you. I got everything working. The beeper. I even got the uh, the OSD working on, on this one. Uh, my voltage, so I can read the voltage of my battery and my goggles. That's working. So I'm tickled to death. I'll try to hover it here if I can, but it's really hard. <laughs> Probably. 
probably run it off the table. Uh, I got 3D working too. Let me show you. That's reverse. I cannot hover this thing. Let me just hold on to it. Anyway, it's going to work great, guys. It's going to work great. <laughs> I'm tickled. That's the first one down. That's the Manta, the three and a half inch Manta. It turned out sweet. Uh, damn, it's gonna be a job swapping over the, either I'm gonna have to get some more stuff like more buzzers and more receivers, or else I'm gonna have to do some, I'm gonna have to swap them over into each quad and that's gonna be aggravating, boy. And the, the, the air unit is definitely going to be swapped over because ain't no way I'm gonna be able to get them. So that's going to be a lot of pain in the butt. So I'll probably, when I put one together like this, I'll probably fly it for a long time before I swap anything and build another one. I don't know. But it's done, guys. Hope you enjoyed.